Hey YouTube, Canadian hey, Vape Station. Just wanted to give you a quick video, like I said um, in the last video. We had a, uh, well, wanted to go on the iStick, the iStick 50 watt. Uh, it's going to be short, sweet, to the point. Um, I raved about the iSticks. And in all honesty, uh, my 10 watt, my mini, and my 20 watt work outstanding actually and you know they're probably they're the oldest ones I got this the iStick 50 I'm gonna try to show you exactly what I'm talking about here so first off this was auto firing I fucked around with the button enough that it's not auto firing anymore but I really don't trust it too much it still works it vapes Still, it still, it still generally works, but as far as I'm concerned, it's not very safe. Um, the button, I don't know if you can see this, but you see this discoloration around the button? This is not e-juice being spilled. This is not, and it kind of flares up through the side here. To me, it's not wear. Um, the button... If you really look close, you're going to see that the button is somewhat like, just trying to get a nice view for you guys, it's corroding. I've never spilled e-juice on this thing. You can really see the flare, like this weird fucking, I don't know what, but it almost seems like a burn. It goes all the way up and over. Uh, on the screen side, you'll notice it's all blue, except for right down here on the screen, it's starting to turn. It's almost like that burn look. So, I bought this probably, I don't know, three months ago. And in my opinion, something that's costing, you know, I, I bought this, I'm in Canada, so this cost... I think it was 65 bucks just for this. It didn't come with uh, fuck all. It was just this thing. Um, didn't come with a charger. Didn't come with an ego adapter. Didn't come with nothing. It was just this. And in my opinion, 65 bucks. Maybe I'm a cheap ass. I have no idea. But 65 bucks should last more than three months, as far as I'm concerned. Um, if this was wearing, I hold it like this. Wouldn't all these spots have this? weird mark on it if it was wear and tear. Uh, as far as I know, E-Leaf will not cover this. Uh, the shop I bought this from won't cover it, and rightfully so. The shop has a policy. I know that the shop has a policy. It's, it's 30 days exchange. This is over 30 days. But you'd think that the manufacturer would definitely cover this kind of thing. Any reputable uh, manufacturer should cover these things. I know there's a shop in the States that's actually taken them back. It doesn't matter when you bought them. I can't remember the shop, but they're willing to take the things back because they're unsafe. Um, they're also uh, giving people, if you didn't even buy it from the shop, they're willing to give you a $20 credit in the shop if you bring this thing in, just for a safety precaution. Um, I've heard of these things venting, um, overheating, I haven't had any problems like that, but I did have it. As soon as you went like this to the button, it would fire and it would stay firing. I had to take this, it was actually this tank. Um, I had to actually take the tank off before it fucking blew the, uh, the coil or melted anything. But um, other than that, the thing still performs for me. It's just I don't feel safe using it. Um, just to capture what I was doing on the last video, just to show a size comparison. This is the Smoke M80 and the uh, iStick 50. They're very similar in size. The Smoke is a little bit bigger, as you can tell, but not very much. And for the price difference, this thing is solid. Um, I noticed that I saw a video of Phil's and Phil Bissardo. Awesome reviewer, he knows his shit, definitely. 
and he did kind of trash the smoke. I'm not going to trash it because I think it's awesome. I did not, and I stress again, not buy it for temperature control. I bought it to go to 80 watts and be a stable, good vaping device for a wattage device. So if you're buying it for temperature control, probably look elsewhere unless they fix the particular issues. It'll burn cotton. Other temperature control devices won't. So that's the, that's the key difference there. Uh, but if you're looking for an 80 watt mod, variable uh, wattage, mech mode, uh, some cool little features, the smoke is hands down fucking superior to this thing. The E-Leaf, I used to rave about it. The 20, the 30, and the 10, as far as I know, no issues. This thing, even just on social media and people messaging me, have said that they're 50 watts of cropped out. Um, you take this with the grain of salt. Like my, my word isn't gospel, that's for sure. But I'm just going to tell you what I, what I know. Um, I know my experience was awesome up until a few weeks ago. This started happening. I started noticing this weird fucking color around the button. The uh, almost like rust on the button. I have no idea what that's from. And the funny thing is I don't abuse it. Like you can tell just by looking at it. The thing is pristine. Otherwise, besides the actual problems, the thing is awesome. There's not even a fucking scratch on the screen. Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong that I did with this thing. So, you know, if you're looking for an iStick 50, by all means, uh, you know, if you really want one, go out and buy it, but precaution, man, like take this video and uh, take from it what you will. But in my opinion, out with this, in with something like this. This solid, this feels solid, but honestly, I don't even use this as much as my uh, iStick 20 and 10. My 10 watt, I take it out in the four-wheeler, out ATVing. Fucking thing is perfect. Uh, my 20 watt, that's just, you know, maybe out and about with a Nautilus, you know, it works perfect. There's no issues. This thing auto fired on me uh, three times in a row, starts looking burnt, gets hot. Now, mind you, I'm vaping a sub ohm tank, but <clears throat> at 18 and a half watts, you know what I mean? Uh, I just think Ely should stand behind their products. They made enough fucking money off us uh, and definitely should uh, back up the products that we've been accustomed to liking. Uh, that's just my two cents. Like I said, take from what you will. Okay? But I did say I was going to do a Ely iStick 50 watt follow up review and it wasn't going to be pretty and it isn't. I don't, I, I would never buy one of these again. This craps out, I'm gonna gut it and take the 18650s out, and that's about it. So I'm gonna vape it till it dies, but uh, it's definitely not the only mod I take out if I do take it. I don't trust it, I don't think it's gonna last, and I think, you know, I don't think it's gonna blow up on me. I don't do that kind of stuff. If it blew up on me, I'd be chucking her far and wide so it could blow up in a field or out in the street or something, but um, yeah. It's just not worth it, I don't think. And a few, apparently other people do on the on social media and, uh, you know, shops, especially the one I read about in the U.S., taking them back even though they didn't even sell them. Uh, taking the ones they sold anytime. There was no limit. You uh, bought it three, four, five months ago. Well, I don't think it was out five months ago. But, you know, four or five, you know, as, as long as they've been out, if you bought the first one and it's been fucking up, or even if it hasn't, you can bring it back for a refund or a store credit or something. But either way, the shop's doing the right thing. You know, they're, they're concerned about people's safety and that's it, right? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you know about that and 
That's all I have for you on, on this thing. So, uh, you know, you like this video? I'm sure that some people are die-hard Ely fans and they're going to fucking hate me for this. But, you know what? I want to get the word out. If I get the word out and it saves someone the uh, bullshit of dealing with a faulty mod, hey, I'm happy with it no matter what. So, if you do like this video, subscribe to the channel. Give me a comment. You tell me. Comment on your iStick. Let me know if there's a problem with it, if it's acting funny, if it's got burnt marks on it, buttons corroding, doesn't fire, auto fires. I wanted to know, you know. Uh, but yeah, you know, like, dislike the video, do whatever. But, you know, I'm just wanting to give you the most up-to-date information that I can get and my personal opinion and my personal experience with it. All right? So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, and everything. So until next time. Vape on.